What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. I wanted to discuss something pretty exciting for you Apple TV 2 owners, and that is iTunes Match on the Apple TV. If you have the latest beta version of iTunes 10.5.1 Beta 2, if you have that downloaded, installed on your Mac, you can enable iTunes Match on your Apple TV. All you need to do is go to your settings and go to General, and then go down to iTunes Store right here. And then you should see this iTunes match option right here. There it is. And just go ahead and pop that baby on. And then you can get to roll in with iTunes match on the Apple TV. Just like it is, you know, on your iOS device, on your iPad, on your iPod, etc. There it is. Under music, there's a new section called music dedicated to your iCloud library. You go to that and you'll see this preparing your iCloud library. This may take a few minutes depending on the size of your library. I have a pretty substantial iTunes library and it is going to take a few minutes here but you can go out of it and come back just like you can on iTunes when it's matching all your music and right now let me just say that I am currently uh, matching my music on my Mac so all of my music isn't actually going to be available just yet. It'll probably be a few hours before all of my music is readily available to play uh, from iCloud, courtesy of iTunes Match, but I should have some of the music uh, that iTunes was able to match. Uh, so we'll, we'll be able to check that out here in just a few seconds. Shouldn't be too much longer. And it's uh, pretty seamless though. You don't have to do any updates on your Apple TV. All you need to do is install uh, the latest beta version of iTunes, of course. That is again iTunes 10.5.1 Beta 2. And all you need to do is go to Store and then turn on iTunes Match on iTunes to enable it. Okay, so now we should be done. There we are. There is our iCloud library, and as you can see, tons of options here. Search, music videos, playlists, artists, albums, compilations, songs, genres, composers. So you can pretty much sort on anything here, um, and you can see it's all my album artwork. These are probably the songs or the albums that iTunes could match indeed. Uh, of course, all the, the albums that you still need to upload um, sorry about the plane in the background. All the albums that you still need to upload will probably still be missing album art. So I did a search here for Phoenix, and there is Phoenix. You can pull up by artist or by album. You can see there's just one album art that has been uploaded or that was available right now. But you can go to any of these, and of course, as you can see, all those are grayed out, so you're not going to be able to play any of those just yet. Um, so they're still waiting to be uploaded, apparently, to the cloud. So I tried playing that, that didn't work. Let's go up to It's Never Been Like That, and there you go, you can see some of those songs are readily available. The ones that are, are ready to play are white, and I just click on that to play that, and it should play in just a second. Now this, granted, does take a little bit of time, and maybe Apple will get it sped up a bit once the final version of iTunes match, or the final version of iTunes is available. It is playing, I can hear it just fine. Um, I'm not going to play it, obviously, for copyright reasons, but it does work. And the interface is nothing new. If you've ever done iTunes home sharing on the Apple TV 2, then you know exactly what to expect from a musical standpoint regarding the interface. So, folks, that is iTunes Match for the Apple TV. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. I know it was brief, but hopefully you'll be able to check it out yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.